So we're in question 7 of the final exam review. And we're looking at a, another dynamic situation here, or connected objects are moving dynamically. Um, very classic uh, canonical problem. Consider the system the blocks at right or I guess below. Assume the table is frictionless and the masses move freely. Uh, what is the tension of the string connecting M1 and M2? So it should probably also state that the strings are massless and the pulley is frictionless and massless, but there are assumptions that we can make. I guess since we're not given any information about the masses of the ropes or the mass of the pulley, so best assume that they're frictionless and massless. So we're trying to figure out the tension in the string connecting M1 and M2, so if it's difficult to see in the video, this is a 1 kg mass, this is M1, M2 is a 2 kg mass, and then M3 is a 3 kg mass. And for these type of problems, you can do a whole series of equations, um, sort of simultaneous equations, uh, to figure out what is the tension. Um, but I tend to treat these problems slightly differently and sort of I think that since the, it's a horizontal table, it's frictionless, that the only thing driving the whole system is the external weight force that is acting on the M3 mass, so the hanging mass. So if I think about the system, of the one, the rope, and sort of uh, fudge the details around the pulley, I can sort of treat this as a as equivalent to, again, it's just a, it acts the same as if we had a horizontal frictionless surface and we're pulling three blocks. And that's one, two, and three. And the only the whole thing that's driving this whole system is a force here on three that's the equivalent to the weight force on three by the earth. So it's pulling the sort of the system of the tree blocks is that weight force that's acting on the uh, M tree block. So we know from Newton's second law that the F net on the system is equal to the mass of the system times A in the system. So to figure out the tension on block one, so if I think about what I'm trying to actually solve here, the tension on block one Sorry, yeah, it's a tension force on, in the string between M1 and M2. It's also the tension force on block 1, and that happens to be the net force on block 1. So, if I, I know the mass of block 1, so I need to figure out the acceleration of block 1 in order to figure out the tension here. So really my goal here is to figure out what is the acceleration of the system of the tree blocks. So, I'm going to solve here for the A of the system. It's going to be the F net of the system over the mass of the system. As I mentioned up here, the only thing that's driving the whole system on the three blocks is that weight force on block three. So this is the weight force on three by the earth divided by the mass of the system. This would be three kgs times 9.81 meters per second squared all divided by the total mass of the system. One plus two is three, three plus three is six. So if we work this out, this is about 30, 30 divided by 6, or roughly less than 30, we should end up here at 4.9 meters per second squared. So as I mentioned earlier, if you think about a free body diagram for block 1, so this is block 1, we know it would have a weight force on 1 by the earth, there would be a normal force on 1 by the table, those two will be equal in magnitude because I know there's no y acceleration of block one. And then there is this tension force on one by the earth. And that's what we're actually trying sorry, one by the string, excuse me. And that's what our goal is to find. So F net one is equal to tension one by the string, because again these two forces sum to zero. And this is equal to the mass of one times a. So the tension on that string. 1 kg is 4.9 meters per second squared. That works out to be 4.9 newtons. So I guess it's choice um, B. That's the correct answer.